coming along this evening to Orbital Comics for the um, Fables exhibition uh, that's now going to be running for a month here, here at Orbital. And I'm very pleased to have my partner in crime over the last decade, uh, Steve Bayaloha, here as well. Hey. 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 And, and the lovely Trina here as well, too. Hey. Hey. Um, <coughs> No, I just wanted to, to thank you all very much for being here. It's the first time in, I think, about 20 years that I've had my artwork on display anywhere in London. So it's rather rather nice to, to actually have a, a decade's worth of work on display for you all to have a look at. Um, I'll just give you a quick sort of rundown on basically what we have here. This uh, first wall behind me is, is artwork that's from my sort of personal collection. There's always a few pieces that I do every so often and I'm quite personally attached to anything that's sort of very Kirby-esque with lots of monsters on a big double page spread, I tend to look at the key. 90% uh, of the painting work I do, I tend to want to keep and I'm particularly fond of the this month's issue, in fact the, the cover with Big B and uh, Boy Blue on is, is a special one for me, so I was keen to show some of these pieces off. But, um, you know, I do, I do like to keep the collection back, you know, sort of things that mean a lot to me. Also, sort of, you know, it's good to keep a few things for the future. Much like my collection of um, uh, crash mats, it's good to have something to fall back on. <laughs> so, um, oh, I know, I had to throw a to dry humour at one point during the evening. Um, okay, so, so as I say, we have uh, some nice splash pages with snow, the cast of... Fables gathered around the magic mirror. We have the uh, trade paperback cover for the 10th anniversary edition of the uh, first issue, uh, Legends in Exile, which was uh, designed so that I could finally sign copies of that because it was the only trade I didn't have any actual artwork in. So I'm very pleased about that. Um, along, along the wall here, I'm going to jump down a bit, we have um, basically any excuse for me to draw animals or monsters. Um, you know, this, these are sort of prime examples of this. Um, I actually posed for this one. Uh, this, was, this was me in a field in Astorius in northern Spain. Uh, I, I did, there was a, and a previous version of this that I sort of self-rejected because I didn't really like the pose. But uh, this one kind of worked out really well. But again, uh, you know, drawing, drawing birds uh, was, was something I really wanted to sort of get a nice collection of creatures into this. And the, Field being cloud. Anything that's sort of natural and organic tends to be my sort of favourite thing. Um, great big battle scene from issue 55, which was the uh, uh, when they were discussing what plans the Empire might have for trying to take on the mundane world. Um, this is me posing as giant with platform round neck. Uh, be thankful you're not seeing the digital photographs that accompany this. Um, a bit further down here, a favourite of mine, this one is the, um, the the flying ship being attacked by all the dragons in the um, homeland worlds, which we did during the um, War and Pieces story arc. And I, I had a lot of fun with this because I wanted to try and get lots of different creatures from different folklore in there. Um, in other panels during the sort of dragon sequence, I also included things from, you know, um, Jabberwocky and, and, and stuff from Alice in Wonderland and things like that. Well, I was just trying to sort of jam as much stuff into these pages as we can. So anyway, that's, so that's my sort of selection from, from my personal collection, um, which is good to get out because otherwise they're just going to sit in a drawer in my house and I always feel guilty about that. Um, bringing us sort of bang up to date on this wall over here, and this is the first of the stuff that's actually for sale during the, the month of the exhibition. Here's a selection of pages that are all from um, the unwritten fables, the big, well, we try not to call it crossover, the big events that has taken place where the fables world and the unwritten worlds have collided in the pages of, of the unwritten. And um, in this particular instance, this is layout by Peter Gross. Now, I'm technologically inept which is why instead of printing a blue line like normal people do, I actually blew up photocopies of Peter's layouts and then traced them all through onto a bit of board and then inked those. So this took me forever. Um, but I'm rather sort of pleased with the results. I think it's a nice hybrid between Peter's stuff and my own. 
And then along the bottom here is another sequence from a couple of issues later in that run, which is the um, return of Boy Blue in that particular story arc and all the terrible things that follow after that. So uh, I wanted to sort of show off my penciling work, which usually you don't get to see because obviously that's something that's inked over by someone talented like Steve and then erased. So you, you get a kind of a composite of myself and the inker rather than necessarily something that's purely my, my work. Um, over here we have a selection of double page spreads, which are all from uh, the War and Pieces story arc, and in particular they're all from issue 75, which was the, um, the big sort of double-sized anniversary issue where every single page was a double page spread. So uh, this is the first time that I've made most of this stuff available for sale, so it's, you're getting a, a first chance to, to see these pages. Um, and these, I think, are oh, some some by Andrew, some inked by Steve, um, and and again one spread where it was inked digitally, so we just have the pencils. So I think it's nice for you to be able to see that sort of contrast between the two. Um, and this was one of those rare occasions where I actually made a point of um, hand uh, penciling the lettering into place as well, because I knew it was going to be so complex to follow and Bill was leaving it up to me to work out the pagination in terms of how we tell the story over the pages, that it was better that he just give me the dialogue and I kind of figure it all out for myself. So this was me giving a useful guide to Todd so he knew what I was thinking as I was drawing it. Um, in this little section over here, we have a little sort of trip through Fable's memory lane. We have sort of pages going back as far as issue 14, the storybook love story. And then we have things from Arabian Nights and from... Of the Vampire and from Super Team and from The Good Prince. I mean, I wanted to sort of show you a little bit of the variety of what we've done, and you, you can see some of the changes in my style that have taken place over the years. Where you know, I started out much more um, sort of sensitive with more uh, use of linear and more use of texture and tone, and some found imagery with photostats and things like that. And then, as, it, as it's developed over time. I started to pin things down in terms of my sort of tight structure with the border art pieces that will fall either side, and the art becomes much more sort of strengthened and dynamic. So that's basically sort of a, a, a little trip through that transition that you can see here. Um, decided to let one of my paintings go, so if anybody's feeling like parting with a couple of thousand, there's the cover for Literals number three, which was the little. Uh, sort of mini-series we did as part of the uh, Great Fables crossover. And it's got Snow and Bigby and Jack Frost. Um, it says, and the world ended. We, this is not the end yet, so there's a bit more to show you. Um, just on the corner over here, there are actually three pieces that are blue lines printouts that have been inked by Dan Green. These are all from Witches. And uh, the funny thing is, I think Dan only had an A4 printer, so rather than printing out the entire page, he was printing out sections and inking them. So they're actually, some of this is actually from bits from two different pages sort of combined on a single image. It's a bit, a bit unusual, but I was very fond of this particular story in that sequence. And then just to round things up over here, very recent stories, we have a selection of four pages that are all from Cubs in Toyland, which are very, very poignant, very sad story arc that uh, means an awful lot to me that revolved around the fates of some of the children of Snow and Bigby. I'm very, very fond of this stuff and very happy to have this on display. I think um, part of the joy for me with this one, much in the same way that Animal Farm was the, my, one of my favourite arcs because it was all animals, with this one, the fact that it was primarily focused around two children and all these toy characters made it such a delight to draw and a really interesting sort of development for me as an artist to try that. You mentioned I should just Yeah, 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 please think. I particularly like that first panel, just because <laughs> it's such a strange looking image. Just, it's well, just, the whole thing was just so curious. It was comical. And sad. It was comical and heartbreaking because he thought he'd finally found something edible in this, this land of Viscardia and it was just this toy rubber fish that was sort of flopping around in, in the ocean kind of. So it was, it was a very poignant moment. And then to round things off, just over here, we have a selection of pages that are, this is just a pencil art because this has been one of those cases where we were rattling through this art 
very quickly and not always having the time for me to be sending packages for a couple of days over the over the sea to, to Steve. So most of this was in digitally. So this is a chance for you to see some of my most recent penciling work, and this is all from the, the Snow White Park. So there you are. That's a quick quick tour around what we have on offer here. Thank you again, all of you, so much for coming here to be with me this evening and, and to see Steve, and uh, I really hope you enjoy having a look around the, the artwork. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>